Swole Benji here. Today we are going to talk about only questing. I made a new character and I only did quests. I didn't do a single town board quest. I did it up to the story missions where you have to go to the Armine Excavation, which for those that don't know, the Armine Excavation is down here. And it is a group dungeon. Uh, it is recommended to be level 25, but doing the story missions up this far, got the Azoth staff, all the story missions from doing Everfall, and mostly Monarch's Bluff. Now, let me tell you, if you just beeline the story missions, you can go from level 1 to 20-ish in about 7 hours, and I was using Sword and Board, so let me show you my, uh, my weapons here. Uh, it, I did get to level 10 in those 7 hours on the Sword and Shield. Now, I did use a Life Staff to uh, snipe mobs from afar. It's a mob tag from other players also questing. That's why it's level 3. But as you can see here, no trade skills, no logging, mining, fishing, harvesting, nothing. No, no refining, no crafting, absolutely just bare bones. Just rush down the story. Uh, join the purple faction. Now, the game makes you do some of your faction missions before you can continue with the main story. So what I did do was max out the token amount. Let, let me show you. The You get, uh, what is it? Faction rep every time you do a uh, faction mission. And that goes up to 5,000 that you can spend. Uh, and I then around level 20, levels. 25, you can oh, do your uh, promotion quest. But essentially, I have 5,000 tokens. So if I wanted... I could buy some of the, this equipment here. The equipment is like gear score level 280. Uh, the, the armor, gear score level 280, that's fine. I didn't spend anything. I only used what I picked up. I played the game Dark Souls style, just sword and board. Uh, I also, you know, used death warping. That's why all my equipment is broken. Uh, but essentially, your, your gear upgrades as you do quests, because every time you loot chests and kill mobs, they're going to drop upgrades for you. And I'm mostly running heavy armor so I can be tanky. But essentially, uh, my, my slash played for doing the main story quest was about 7 hours. Right now, um, my playtime is 9 hours. And that is because I decided to do the non-story quests to see if it's worth doing or not. And I went from level 20 to almost 21 in 2 whole hours of just doing the crappy quests. Because like when you go to another town... You see how they have these uh, these little yellow diamonds above? Like these are these are quests, right? But they're not high level quests. You you still have to do them to get to the high level quests. So right now, Monarchs, uh, or I'm sorry, ever false quest here. There's a quest to come here and do under the same stars. It's bugged. You just can't finish it. You absolutely can't. I know in the closed beta you could finish it, which I did. I've done, but for whatever reason, questing like I am hard like locked. <laughs> in Everfall, I can't I can't continue the Everfall quests, but you can go to like Monarch's Bluff here So I'm with the Monarch's Bluff. I've been doing those quests right now uh, I'm up to level 24 quests, which is just come down here and like harvest a squash and then loot a Loot a jar of jam, right? Very simple stuff now each of these quests They're only going to give you about a thousand 400 XP uh, you get a little bit of territory standing, which, in my opinion, that's the real grind of the game, is territory standing. Here's my territory standing. Uh, I went to Everfall, it's only level 11. Marks well 5, when's we're 2. So, questing, yeah, you can get to level 20 pretty darn quick if you just beeline the story quests. Now, I could have been a little faster doing the story quests if I did not use Sword and Shield. Alright, now, Sword and Shield, shield there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, uh, it's not the fastest mob clearing weapon. It is tanky, it lets me, like, I can kill a level 24 mob at level 15 because I can just block their attacks and then trade hits and use, uh, you know, shield stuns and backstabs and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, while a hatchet player or a great axe player can kill them way faster spamming down potions and chugging water the entire time, right? So, is questing worth it when you start the game? Now, everyone else will also be questing, so, um, I did this on day two, 
which uh, only Everfall was the one that was captured, but now there's more. And, li and like I said earlier, I did not do a single town board quest. This is purely quests from the NPCs. And it's level 20, but my character, like I said, I have flint tools. Um, I, I don't feel developed at all on this character. Um, oh yeah, let me show you the loot, okay? Because loot, loot is always important, right? Uh, one thing that the uh, the gathering character, by the way, for those that don't know, I, I've done a test where um, I just make a character and start gathering to see if it can outpace the leveling of a quester. That's yesterday's video, so go check out yesterday's video if you haven't. It's something like 16 hours of gathering, and I, I know this is not 16 hours of uh, questing, it's only about 8, but here's the loot. Essentially, uh, here, let me sort it by... You can sort the gear by gear score, so you can see that I have, you know, questing and looting chest does give you decent gear. Like, this is better than the faction gear. Uh, the Warhammer here and the bow are from questing rewards, which is fine. But, you know, at level 20, your, your gear is going to be easily replaced. I spent about 500 coins doing the main story, like getting materials, because I have no gathering or harvesting. I could not pick up... Uh, what is it like petals there, there's petals you got to do to make a potion you got to do get some river crest stems without gathering you, you can't really get those and some silver but we do have a lot of refining reagents so almost two to three hundred of solvents and sandpapers and tannins and fluxes fluxes are the big one guys this is the one that everyone needs uh, and of course crossway so we got plenty of reagents if we ever do decide like to take our now character uh, that's only quested and make him a gatherer. Now I will say at this point, if I continue to go to each town, because each town is about level 25-ish on their quests, like I'm nearly done with Monarch's Bluff. Once I'm done with that, I would go to Windsward and do all those quests. And then I would go down here to First Light and do all those. That might put me about level 22, 23 at best. And yeah, then you can continue questing down in Cutlass Keys, which is what I did in the closed beta. And when I spent all day here, like, I spent 10 hours in Cutlass Keys running around doing quests in the closed beta. And I only got, like, two levels, which uh, I don't think is really the most optimal way. I've seen other people, uh, what they're doing, like other streamers and, and closed beta testers. What they do is either they chain run dungeons, which I don't really have people for that, and I'm at level 25. I'm not going to do a dungeon at level 20, right? Uh, or they run around and do these corrupted breaches, but even then, doing the corrupted breaches for like hours at a time is only getting them one to two levels. And that, that's all it's doing. It's, it's giving them a minimal amount of weapon mastery, which when you're level 60, you go to a level like, like if I was level 60 right now, I can go to level like, what, 55 zone with a level one great axe, and I'm going to level this thing up super, super fast. So I don't think that weapon mastery is a huge thing that you should focus on the early game. I also don't think questing is optimal or gives good XP. I think the best XP in the game, honestly, is the town board quests, which, like I said, I didn't touch on this character at all, and also gathering, because, like, if you're not, if you, if these aren't being maxed out, I don't think you're playing this game correctly, but anyway, that's, that's just the results I wanted to share with you. How much XP you can get, how much gear, and reagents you can expect to get from only questing. This is only questing, no town boards. You just run around, you, you, you do the story mode. It took me about seven hours. I could probably do it in five and a half, maybe five if I used a, a, a hatchet instead, because hatchet has way faster DPS. And the, the speed of which you can do the quest is how fast you can kill the, uh, the mobs. All right, so that's the video. I hope Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay a soul. Uh, leave a like and a comment. You got to do both. It's an algorithm cheat code. It's a YouTube combo. All right, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, lads. Uh, now, if you enjoy questing, if you think questing is very fun, then of course, it's a great way to do 1 to 20 early on. And one other benefit is that you max out your Azoth because the story gives you Azoth to travel around and you're going to just have a whole heck ton of it, right? So that's one advantage over just being gathering a gatherer. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Take care. I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one.